Hi, my name is Paul, and I am the um, lead research technician at the Hada Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Chrome browser on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's my Pop installation here. And let's do a couple of housekeeping things before we get started. So I'm going to install Google Chrome browser on Pop. Okay, here's my Pop installation here. Pop open the terminal, show you the NeoFetch real quick, just to prove that we are actually in a Pop session. Okay, you can read all this. You can read through all this here. Okay, we're definitely in a Pop session here. Okay, so we'll clear on that. And before I forget I just want to show that I don't already have it installed so we'll go through some of these folders real quick just to prove that it's not actually here right now at the start of the video so we go through all the um, all these folders here and it's not here when we're done we'll come back here try to launch it GUI wise here and see if there's a couple of commands that I know of that might work in the terminal to launch it from the command line okay now we're not gonna I'm not going to install it from the four, four of the main ways, Snap, Flatpak, App Image, or Compile from Source. And I'm not going to use anything on the POP side of things either. I'm not going to use APT in the terminal, and I'm not going to use the Chrome from the POP shop. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to their website here, google.com. Google and then there's a download. Well, let's just go back to the home page here. Okay, so we're on the home page here, google.com. And then you can scroll up and down. There's not really much down there, I don't think, to really worry about. Mainly, I want to do, I want to focus on the uh, download button here. Okay, so download Chrome. Okay, then this pops up here, okay. And let's give it a quick little read here. Get Chrome for Linux, yes. Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, or OpenSUSE. Okay, so we're on POP, which is based on Ubuntu. So we're not gonna um, we're not gonna use RPM dot RPM. That's for uh, Red Hat Fedora OpenSUSE. So we're gonna use the Debian Ubuntu dot Deb installer here. Okay. So not that one, but that one. 64 bit dot Deb. Okay. And then we don't really need to worry about. Okay. This is a good way of doing it because it's gonna add the repo. It's going to add the Google repo to our sources list, and let me let me actually show you that real quick here. That's that's like really one of the main reasons why I would do it this way, so that as opposed to doing it from the the, the pop way, which will still update, but this way you'll get it right from the source, and it'll always be current. So when you go to Pop Shop, if you click on the hamburger menu here, and you go to System Software Sources here. That'll bring up the repo manager here, the GUI repo manager. You can also go to um, you can also go to the sources list file in the, by the terminal. Either dump the contents out with the cat command, or open the file with a nano uh, terminal editor, or you can um, navigate to the sources list file in your uh, file manager and open open the, the the file in a desktop editor okay so we're gonna use the GUI here to, to keep track of our our sources okay so we don't need to worry about flat pack or settings or updates we're gonna focus on the extra sources tab here so I click on that and you see this is a very uh, fresh clean install very recent install of pop so it's only got the, the two um, default repos that are in here right now. And when we're done with the um, installation, we're going to come back and we'll check and see if there's any new entries here. Okay, good. So we'll minimize that for the moment. Go back to the browser here. Okay, so we're all staged up here. I'm going to accept and install. And it's going to start downloading that dev file for me. I think this is it right here. Display the progress. Show all downloads. Okay. 
and as you can see here it's 100 megabytes not very big and less than a minute to go everything is going pretty good and um, keep the video rolling here we're almost done pretty quick download let's make note of the um, the name of the file here google dash chrome dash stable underscore current amd64 dot deb okay good and another uh, 15 megabytes or so almost there a few seconds left and we're done okay that's good that's that's done alright so that's been downloaded okay so I can minimize the browser there go back to the terminal here and I'm gonna CD right now I'm in the home directory home Paul so I'm gonna go ahead and CD into my download folder that's the default save location for uh, files that are downloaded via Firefox downloads and we'll try to spot okay there's only one file in there that's what I need Google Chrome Google Chrome stable current okay looks good okay I'm gonna use apt to install the .deb file and the command for that is sudo apt install dot slash I'm gonna key in just G and autocomplete with the tab and it should do it because there's no other um, files in here to compete with it so G tab it completes everything okay that looks good this is the right syntax here sudo apt install that dev file okay good okay so once we're all staged up there go ahead and enter on that and let apt install it okay it's gonna prompt me let's give it a little quick little read here okay it's gonna install that, that file and it's gonna install some other dependencies and whatnot okay do I want to continue uh, the capital Y is the default that's why it's capitalized sometimes you'll also see where the N will be capitalized so if you just not even key in any characters if you just hit enter it'll always just default to whatever the capitalized letter is so in this case it's it'll be, it'll be um, yes so I don't have to really key anything in here right okay so enter on that and it should be yes do I want to continue yes okay and it's going to go ahead and download dependencies and install dependencies and install Chrome. I don't know if you can see it here, it's a little hard to read. I gotta change my background color here. 30% counting and back when it's done. Okay, everything downloaded and installed. Everything looks good. No errors, no faults, no crashes. Okay. And you can see here everything was looks good here. Alright, that looks that looks good. Okay, we'll clear on this. And we'll check the repo manager again. And without even me having to uh, close and reopen or log out, log in, restart, or anything, it just does it on the fly and right in place. It just adds the um the repo URL to our sources list here. Download Google.com, Linux, Chrome, Deb. Okay, good. So it's going to be pulling it right from the Google sources, right from the Google servers. Not source code, but from, you know, when I say source, I mean whatever packages they have hosted on their servers. Okay, good. Okay, so it's installed, and let me go ahead and CD out of there, clear on that. Let's see what happens when we do a update upgrade operation now that should also be included in here too let's see if that's in here okay we didn't check this before but it wasn't here before but as you can see it's when you actually do this um, pseudo apt update and pseudo apt upgrade operation not only is it going to be pulling 
or you know hitting and trying to pull from you know what hitting and whatever's uh, available to pull in from the um the default pop os repos like these four or so on top and then a couple more at the bottom here but it's also going to be pulling from that one that we just added right here okay okay so nothing nothing available to update or to install at this point so we're clear on that okay okay so it's installed and the repo has been added and verified okay good so whenever you run apt update upgrade it'll pull any new versions updates patches and whatnot directly from the google servers okay now we'll go to the application folder again and it seems to be in the library home here okay here it is it wasn't there before right okay so that's good okay so it's been installed and verified and whatnot just a couple things left to do launching and after launching you can also do the configuration but i won't get into that i'll just say so, yeah, I just log into my Google account and it pulls in whatever preferences I have synced with their um, with their back end otherwise at this point I think we're just clear to go ahead and actually I'm gonna pin it to my dash and then I'm just gonna launch it from the dash here actually I'm not sure that, that, that the dock actually this is the dock here okay make it my default and send yeah I'm okay with sending uh, stats to Google that's fine I don't have a problem with that I'm okay with that if it's gonna make things if it's gonna improve things uh, that's for me that that's that that's good okay and then so it's been installed and I'm not gonna go any further as far as um you know signing into my account and then having all my my settings, my 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 uh, you know my uh, my theme installed. Like I have a color theme and my bookmarks and everything. So I have all that synced with my Google account. So once I log in, it'll set everything up, and I can go into the settings and do whatever other manual things I need to do. Otherwise, there you go. Chrome is Chrome has been installed. Let's see what this one over here does. Because I think there was two of them. Let me kill that one here. Okay, that looks a little different. Yeah, okay. That looks better actually. I'm not sure what the other one was. Yeah, this is this is more like it. Okay. So I would just go ahead. I'm not going to do it now, but I would log into my um I don't think I'm logged in already. Yeah, I'm not signed in my Google account. Anyway, I would just go ahead and I would log in to my Google account and it would up uh, um, you know, it would set my settings as I have some saved preferences and themes and whatnot, bookmarks. So it'll bring all that in from their from their back end, and then you can go into the settings, and you know, or go, go to the hamburger menu here and do whatever else you need to do manually, especially the settings and whatnot. Okay, so that was installing um, Google Chrome browser and launching it via GUI methods. Now let's see if we can launch it from the terminal. I usually don't. Now I did look up the command to do it. Let's see if um. Let's see if the commands that I looked up on online are actually correct or not. One said Google dash Chrome, other one said Google dash Chrome dash stable. Let's see if this one does the job. Okay, that did work. Okay. All right, and I can go ahead and bounce out of here. Let's see here. How do I bounce out of here? More. Okay, I got it. Okay. And that, that's good enough. Yeah, okay, we don't really need this tab here. All right, so then back to the same spot before. Okay, so that's good. So, yeah, the um, the command was Google-Chrome. Let's see what happens with... Um, let's see if stable... Because this is the stable branch, I do believe. So let's see if that does anything. Okay, that looks like that's the same. Okay, that works too. So Google dash Chrome, Google Google dash Chrome dash stable will both launch it from the terminal. Now this is always kind of plan B. Plan A for me is always the GUI uh, method. But let's say you have problems launching it GUI method wise, or once it's launched from the GUI method and you're clicking on things and they're not working, you might not be able to have stuff to debug. But if you launch it from the terminal, any launch issues will show up here and you can try to debug it. And also, if you get past the launching stage and you're actually 
you have it launched and, and it, you know it's open and you're trying to do things inside the user interface and there's problems and crashes that you know there too then you can also go back to the um, back to the process running in the terminal and hopefully there'll be some output here that you could you know it's not going to be in plain English where it's going to say the problem you just encountered will need this particular fix you know it'll be you know it'll be in a you know kind of you know gibberish as as you see here so you're going to have to try to you know decipher what you're looking at and maybe try to uh, debug the situation that way so for me uh, the terminal method is kind of plan B and the GUI method is plan plan, plan A and also this way if you do it from the terminal you have to always keep the, you know, a window and, and a tab open for dedicated to this process so that this this will live if you kill if you kill the GUI and the front end this process will end and if you kill the the back end process here then the front end will actually end as well so they they, they need, it's like a symbiotic relationship they need each other so that's kind of and then so you have to kind of always have a, a window and a tab open so it kind of clutters things up a little bit your workflow what whatnot so yeah this for me is always kind of this is always plan B and and the GUI method is always plan A right here and then just pin it and you're all good to go okay so yeah there's Google Chrome browser there and then that's pretty much about it we verified all the repos and everything the repo situation was all covered and everything I think everything's pretty much done here I'm gonna go ahead and control Z on that clear that go back to my NeoFetch here as I close out the uh, video and there's my NeoFetch there okay so that was how to install uh, Google Chrome browser on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, so I am Paul, and I am the um, the lead research technician at the How to Linux Research Labs, and I'm also uh, the administrator of the Pop OS Linux uh, Facebook group on Facebook. And until my next video, happy Linuxing. Bye bye.